G'day guys. Um, it's a bit late here, so I'm probably going to be speaking a little bit quiet, but um, <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at this all day, and it's like I, I, I don't really have any comments on it personally. Um, I mean, I have kind of made some comments online, but I think it's all a bit ridiculous, really. Um, this whole debacle's been turmoil for weeks. And I don't know the real backstory because I don't really follow it, but it's, it's it all kind of looks a bit crazy. So I thought I would, you know, try to screen capture some of it because there's lots of other, you know, YouTubers out there who are taking snips and snaps and you know cut cuts bits here and there. And I thought I would just go and get it all um, whole before it all sort of maybe perhaps gets deleted, I guess, because uh, that's sometimes what happens. Um, but I guess the main reason I wanted to talk about this sort of stuff is I looked at, well, like, the, this, this guy's, he's taken, he's been taking photos of himself on Lamborghinis, uh, and what's most curious about this is he's putting in donation addresses, and, I mean, I guess, you know, he, he, he's not, he's not a Bitcoin maxi, he's one of the crypto bros, and one thing that, one thing I want to talk about with with you know Bitcoin maximalists is the fact that they you know they're pretty smart with their privacy. You know they like to try to um, new um, create new addresses um, to be able to receive money um, to, and they will try not to um, disclose the addresses that they use because um, that that trails back to you know back to their spending history for the last couple of years. And I guess that's just one of the things that crypto bros always seem to do is they seem to um, put all their funds, you know, into one address and then just, they just recycle it over and over again. And, you know, it leaves you, it leaves you wide open to be able to, um, to be able to dive back and look at every transaction that they've done. Now, it's not, it's not, it's not a case that, you know, I have any idea where any of this money is, is going, but the fact that he's given us this address, he's unlocked a whole pathway for us to be able to pursue. And, like, he still hasn't deleted this. I mean, I don't know. It's, I just think it's weird. From a privacy perspective, it's very, very weird. Um, like, I don't really care for, for, for what on earth he's going through. Um, but I did also want to balance this up by having a look at what this so-called hit network and I don't know who hit network was I believe they only discovered who they are today and apparently they or must have been there must be a business which is sort of conglomerated with him at one stage or something and mer merged him in and they must be running some sort of system but it's interesting what these guys say they say they're not doing any personal attacks and you know and that you know he's taken lots of money before and I mean you know I have no idea how much money he really has, but it's all a bit weird. Um, so, yeah, this is what they wrote. I have no comment on that, and I have no comment on this, but I thought I would play this in full so that um, if anyone wanted to look at this and it got deleted. Hey, guys, I've been pretty absent lately, and I think if you read this thread here, you'll understand why. There's a lot going on here beneath the surface the people can't see what Hit Network has done to me over the last four to five weeks. And people, ah, there's no way the employees know that this has happened. And, and I think it's been easy for a lot of people to turn on me. Um, but the fact is, guys, is my life has been on the line here. I have absolutely been given death threats from real credible people who claim that they've done it before. And if you look at, uh, you know, when I made the video, walking back some of the stuff that I said, because my life was on the line. Go watch that video. You can see it. Just go watch the video. Guys, I've been under threat of blackmail. I've been extorted for my Lamborghini. That's gone. I've been under literal death threat. Literally told my wife they were going to put me under the ground. Put me under concrete over money. Literally said that. I've got a recording of it. As well as we have the police report. This was said to my wife. Remember whose honor we're all supposed to be protecting here. Right, what I did to my family. That's what they're claiming. But yet, they're willing to blackmail me and say, send a text to me and my wife the night before everything broke. 
or the morning that everything broke and say, hey, guys, we can keep this a family. This wedding network is done. We can keep this a family matter. We don't have to come out with everything. But if you don't make a statement by 12 o'clock today, then you're done. And that's what I was told. And so the video that came out certainly was true. I mean, I, most of it, except for when I walked back some things that I said about some people, namely Justin Williams. And the, the, the fact is, is I was under duress. And I've been under duress, guys. Like, when people see what they did to me with this Lamborghini, trying to bleed me out, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to bleed me out of money so I can't fight. And so today, uh, as I, you know, put 20 bucks in my gas tank earlier that I had to borrow from someone because I've been 100% cut off from all my money, all my money, uh, uh, my wife's American Express card, well, that wasn't paid for the last month. Uh, that wasn't paid. It was supposed to be getting paid by people that work for me, and they didn't do it. So the credit card's maxed out. And guys, we're in a tough spot here because they're trying to make me stop fighting. And so I humbly ask that if I've ever done anything for you, if I've ever encouraged you, if I've ever left, given you a dream that you might have something different, if, I've helped, if some of my content has helped you, or if you're on the outside of this situation looking in and you see how dirty what's happening is, then I humbly ask that you donate. Uh, we have ERC20 address, Ethereum or stablecoin. Stablecoins would be best, but it, whatever you want to donate, it's fine. If you have other stuff you want me to list addresses, you know, Bitcoin address or something, I can do that too. Uh, Stablecoins, like I said, are, are the easiest right now. So we're trying to fund the legal fund. Um, they took the Lamborghini, so I couldn't sell it, <laughs> like obviously. Um, and I'm in a bad spot right here, guys. And I'm going to, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, we're crypto content. That's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. 11:30 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, just like normal on the Ben Armstrong Crypto Channel. We're gonna get back to crypto. I'm not gonna answer a lot of questions about this going forward. Um, and we're gonna let the legal process uh, play out. We're very confident that if we go to trial, we'll win because all of their lies will be exposed 100%. All these allegations they make against me are false 100%. Um, it, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's what I'll say. And so, um, guys, I'm just appealing to you, bottom of your heart, from the bottom of my heart. Saying, we're going to fight for this, and we're going to try to get this company back, but I need your help. They're, they're, they're trying to bleed me. Good way out. Wait, bet out. All right. So if you obviously just heard that video, um, look, I don't know who's telling the truth or not. I'm not really here to decide who's telling the truth, but what I will say um, is, you know, in Bitcoin, um, you know, we like to hold our own keys. And that way we have control of our own funds. It's a bit weird that he doesn't, that all the funds got taken away. Um, so I don't know. I mean, th this is this is our mantra. Hold your own keys, hold your own funds. You know, be in control here. You, you are your own bank. So how people take away your funds, I don't know. Um, I think it's weird to be begging, especially when you're talking about Lamborghinis think that people should not be begging but you know what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, uh, you know look at these uh, addresses and they're still getting it's still getting like tips and donations all the time uh, there's ton, tons of uh, funds flowing in the last, last few days this Ethereum address has only been taking funds for this last two days so the Ethereum address is 100% um, fresh, which it's kind of more interesting to tell you the truth, but the, but the Bitcoin address is, it's kind of old and it's already, it had, it had churned through at least three Bitcoin beforehand and it's only received about like 600 bucks recently, but still, you know, it leaves a trail of, um, it, 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 well, yeah, it leaves a trail of addresses of um, not only pe not only people who were donating, but it also leaves a trail of um, th where the funds had been transferred prior. So, like you know, back in March, I believe this is March, March um, twenty twenty three. You know, some um, five thousand five hundred dollars was withdrawn, which is the equivalent of uh, yeah point two five Bitcoin. You know, 
realistically, if you if you're smart with your privacy, um, you should be posting a, a fresh address so people can't go back and and dig up these old transactions from you know five six months ago. It's just weird, and uh, yeah. I don't know. From a maxi point of point of point of view, I guess the only thing I really wanted to say was, you know, don't go and leech out um, addresses from months ago from like heavy use where you know for a fact that you've you've had more than one bitcoin. This one's got had three before, so wherever that three bitcoin's gone, that's a mystery. And you know, well, you know. The bigger you are, the bigger you fall, I guess, is probably what the, what the case is here. You know, if if you stay humble and you just stack quietly, um, you know, you, you'll, make, you'll make it to the finish line in a more relaxed and uh, controlled manner rather than going straight to the top and going straight to the bottom, like, at lightning speed. Because that's clearly what's happening here. The guy has reached the pinnacle and... And gone crashing straight back down and hit hit rock bottom quite quickly. Whereas I think the mantra that I think most Bitcoiners take, where we take our time, we stack, we stay quiet about it. We don't post our addresses anywhere, and we just you know, we just put our humble earnings into our into a savings device, and that's a much better system, in my view. So uh, I'm going to post. Um, some of these addresses in the uh, comments, just in case it doesn't have it in the, uh, it in case I can't put in the details on the video. But I thought I would just, um, uh, you know, display uh, what's what's going on in these tweets, just in case they ever get deleted, and post the addresses because you know once you post them, the internet never forgets. So this is another screenshot that'll um, that'll display these addresses you know, forever, but somehow I don't reckon these addresses are going to be dropped, but still, for anyone's interest, you know, five years down the track, you better see, you better go back and actually look at maybe perhaps what happened. Maybe we'll have more information. Uh, I'm going to leave it with that. I don't really have any opinion on the, um, on the situation that happened, but I just think that, you know, you're going to be able to control your keys and don't just go out there and leech your addresses like this. This is just, Bad practice. I'll leave it at that. Thanks.